I'm David Bank. I'm here at the Flea in Merida, Mexico. I'm with Monse Mora, the CEO of FrogTech. Monse, just tell us a little bit about this uh, very interesting venture. So FrogTech is a, is a data impact company. Basically, we're trying to democratize the information, the, da the data information on the retail sector. How we do that? Basically, we have an hybrid business, business model. We provide technology to the shops to help them to have a better shop. And with that data, we monetize, uh, w w we have products basically for the consumer product goods companies that, that help them to make better decisions about the channel. So the shops are the small tiendas we see all around that are selling Coca-Cola and cigarettes and, and, and that's food? Right, that's right. And they're right. small businesses, uh, mom and pop shops, we yeah. would call them? In yeah, th there are one million only here in Mexico. And uh, yes, there are mom and pop shops, there are family owned shops run by two or three persons, th two or three people normally. And basically, they are 40% of all the retail business in Mexico. They are a very important distribution channel. And so the two value propositions is the shop owner makes some more money because yeah. they have better information. And yeah. then also you say the, the, the big brands, the consumer goods companies uh, get some information about. Yeah, and with that, the shops basically after one year, they increase their business by 12%, the revenue line, whereas the traditional channel in general loses 5% every year, so it's real impact. And with that, uh, Fructic basically is able to have a sustainable business model. We can continue supporting more shops growing our, our network because basically what we do for, customer, for consumer product good companies is that we help them to streamline their execution. And so what are the biggest obstacles to, to growing frog tech and to helping the sector grow? In, in, in terms of growth obstacles, so on, on, on the shop side, we still need to find bet, so more um, uh, less capital intensive models. So today our model is based on people and on the hardware. We are evolving to a model that is basically much more digital so that's the first challenge that we're trying to tackle. And in terms of like, um, on, on the other side, so the next challenge that we're tackling is that um, moving our products from descriptive, you just describe the reality of what's happening in the shop to predictive. And this is where we have an, intellig uh, an AI play, artificial intelligence play. So you're using machine learning, artificial intelligence to tell the shop owners what they maybe should order. Yes. Yes, that's one of the angles. We, we use artificial intelligence in, in all this business. I like to say that it's the brain of our business. And basically, artificial intelligence helps us to have a better operation. We reduce, we reduce a chore, we increase the sales, uh, sales force effectiveness, you name it. But it also helps the shops, as you say, to order better. And we, we give them reports, so shop analytics, that help them to take better decisions about the shop. And on the other side, basically, Today we are very, we use very simple algorithms to, to basically manage all the data and to give insights to the, to the CPGs, to the consumer product goods companies, because raw data doesn't have any value. Okay. So you say a million, a million tiendas in, in Mexico. Yes. You have maybe a couple thousand. Yes. Uh, so what is the vision? What is what is Fragtech uh, grow grow up to be? So I think I think Fructic can 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 disrupt the 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 market in, in two ways. So what's going to happen in the future is so with technology, so the traditional channel is going to is going to shrink. That's no, no discussion about that. But we will be able to maintain better shops. The ones that stay are going to be families that has a better business. No. And on the other side, I think Fructic has the capabilities to really shake the marketing research business. So if we can do that in, like, let's say all Latin America, we can be, we, we can beat Nielsen face to face, basically. And um, for you, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your dream for, for yourself and for the company? For in terms of Fructic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, I, when I took office two years ago, so I, my, my milestone was, to turn around the company and to make it break even, we're there, right? So my next dream, so in the next three years, what I want to accomplish for Fructic is that we are a Latin American company. So that we have like 10,000 shops in, th in, f in four countries and we're really capturing 30% of the market of research. No? Terrific, yeah. well, good luck to you, thank you. Thanks.